Hoven owner of New Vision. I'm with David Boshaw, a long standing client. David, how are you? Very good, how are you? Yeah, very good, thank you. So, Dave, you've been coming to us for a while, and you know, so for you, when you were interacting with us with New Vision, what was one of your dreams in the business? Definitely, a dream of mine was to own my own home. It was to own your own home? Yeah, definitely yeah. get out of the renting cycle. Yeah, own my own piece of land. Yeah, and how long? How long was? Um, how long have you had that dream? Just over a year now, actually. Only just recently celebrated one year in my own home. One year, and yeah. what do you think? I totally love it. Yeah, I genuinely love living there and yeah. love having my own place. So, what's the difference for you between uh, being a renter and loving the home that you're living in? There's a lot of things, I guess. One is no inspections. Yeah. Um, but just the freedom. You can hang a picture where you want and. You're not living in someone else's house. Um, yeah. But that's pretty much just mine. That's sort of the main thing that sticks in my head. Yeah. It's mine. Yeah, it's great. Um, and I mean, that's one of the things that, like, when we do the first homeowner seminars, we talk to people about is you know, having that independence. And I'm, you know, I'm renting at the moment, for example, for situation changes and. And I, I, I get frustrated because like the landlord or the property manager will call me and go, oh, we need someone there at 10 o'clock. So who's going to be there? I've got to be there. Yeah. So how long did you almost give up on the dream? Did you think? I actually had, yeah. Yeah. I thought it was unreachable um, just with what they want for a deposit as to cost of living and being young, so you sort of do spend money where you should save it. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I've given up. Really. Yeah. Yeah. So what do you mean, like, you, you, know, you, you spend money when you should have saved it? What, what were you doing? You well, money? just, you know, you go to gigs and you go out drinking or yeah. whatever you do when you're young. So buy movies and just yeah. sort of, because you work and pay so many bills, you sort of get into a habit of rewarding yourself. And, yeah. and you know, that's just sort of, the, I guess, the culture that yeah. I was part of. Yeah. So you sort of, you know, my parents would have put every five cent piece away, whereas it sort of was harder for me because yeah. I didn't love spending. <laughs> yeah, a bit more reckless. Yeah, 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 yeah. definitely. So, so, so it's a good thing though. Like, have you found that owning your house it, it's compromised that lifestyle or a little bit? It's I think it's made like it's a lot more serious. Yeah, uh, I don't know if that makes sense or not, but it's sort of like oh, this is the real deal. So yeah. I've got to treat it with a bit more respect. So yeah. I watch my pennies a lot more. Yeah, um, but in the other way, I guess I can put that back into my house yeah. so I can save for a pergola yeah. and do things like that um, yeah. so there's a trade off to it. Yeah, yeah. So what may, what, what, what was the turning point for you, like what, you'd given up on owning your own home, um, so how did it come around that you could buy your own home? Well, we spoke to you guys, Yeah. doing my tax here for I think almost 12 years Yeah. and just got the question raised, what are you doing, yeah. would you like to have a look? And just jumped at the opportunity. Yeah. And even then I was a bit skeptical, sort of like, okay, this could just be, it'll sound really good, mm -hmm. but it's probably not gonna happen. And it just, everything just went smoothly. So yeah. and I, was, I was actually quite shocked, yeah. you know, in a good way. Yeah. Like, is this really happening? Like, and, yeah. and it has, so it's been great. Awesome. And so like, if there's other people in your position, is there, Anything you would say to them, like the voice from the, the past or the future, so to speak, you know, should they, if they're thinking about it, should they do it, or, and if they do do it, is there anything they need to be aware of? Take a chance, I guess. Yeah. You know, um, speak to someone. Like, I mean, I personally didn't know much about it, so talking with you guys was great. Yeah. Having someone who has the, the knowledge. Yeah. So, yeah, talk to someone if you don't know, or if you're afraid, or mm. give it a go. Cause yeah more achievable than you think. Yeah, that's awesome. And uh, future plans, what's your, what's your next What's your next plan? Uh, my next plan is to to have, get another house. So yeah. to, to use that house as sort of a stepping stone, yeah. make it an investment property, let it work for me, and, and not hopefully upgrade to something bigger and better mm. when the time comes. Yeah, so right. no real timeline on it, just yeah. when it happens. So you're not in a hurry, but that's that's just the long-term plan? Yeah, I'm not in a hurry because I don't have a lease to worry about. I don't have any time limit of when I need to be here and there, so I can just do it at my own pace. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And I think you hit the nail on the head, though. You, you've got a plan. Mm. You're not pressurising the time frame of that plan, but you just got a plan and you're just going to work towards it. Yeah. Yeah. Dave, thanks for sharing, man. I really, I really appreciate it. Thank you very it. much.